The situation has reached breaking point in the most dangerous place in the world. U.S. veto prevents a ceasefire in Gaza Strip, and Israel approves the construction of new settlements. The Israeli army is imposing one siege after another on various areas in Gaza Strip. As the siege imposed on Jabalia camp continues, alongside the storming of several villages in the north of the Strip. With the storming of every village, the siege is imposed, and security barriers are set up at its entrances. Not only was the siege limited to villages and towns in Gaza Strip, but it also reached schools used as shelter, including Khalifa School, as the Palestinian Ministry of Health confirmed that the occupation forces are besieging the school, which houses more than 10,000 displaced people. In addition to the crimes committed in the north, including siege, storming, detaining and confiscating Palestinian property and phones, the Israeli bombing did not stop in the south and center of Gaza Strip, leaving many killed and wounded as a result of the Israeli raids in Khan Yunis and Rafah. Palestinian Ministry of Health confirmed that the situation is out of control for those suffering from chronic diseases and kidney failure in Gaza Strip after having no access to treatment with the occupation besieging central drug warehouses and prohibiting their use. Meanwhile, the UNICEF confirmed that Gaza Strip is the most dangerous place in the world for children and that the organization's team met children on ground who had lost their limbs, some of whom had third-degree burns. In addition to those suffering from shock as a result of continuous violence surrounding them from every direction. These conditions prompted Antonio Guterres, Secretary General of United Nations, to confirm that matters in Gaza have reached breaking point during a session to discuss a draft for a humanitarian ceasefire. However, the U.S. veto had a role in the failure of the United Nations adoption of the draft resolution, in addition to Britain's abstention from voting for or against the draft resolution. And as if it's living in another world, the Israeli government took a decision to approve the construction of 1,738 new settlement units in the southeast of the occupied Quds, with half of the new neighborhood located at Al-Quds East amid international criticism and condemnation.